This sounds so sentimental, and it's certainly, I would say, for an actor like Michael B. Jordan. I'm sure a lot of people are talking about this movie. A Journal for Jordan. This is a new Sony release, I believe, and this is what it says on IMDb. Like I said, a really sentimental plot, and I think maybe ones that, for many people, this could be quite relatable. First Sergeant Charles Monroe King, before he is killed in action in Baghdad, offers a journal for his son intended to tell him how to live a decent life despite growing up without a father. That That's very tragic. You know, again, the, the war component... You have a lot of people that, that you'll know, fight for their country, especially we, we should respect all veterans in that regard. People that go overseas to fight for our freedoms and then, you know, they get lost in war, right? It, it, it's unfortunate. It's sad, but that is a reality of, you know, war and of life. And so then on top of that, though, a lot of these soldiers, when they go overseas, they've got their family behind, right? And when you've got a kid that, that should honestly be, you know, a, 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 um, from a perception of, re- or of reverence, right? You know, for that loved one that they you know, in that time that they died for, you know, their country, like they made the ultimate sacrifice. I mean, that's something that probably every kid would carry with them, but also I'm sure uh, to, it's not easy to process that because it's something you're dealing with. Well, you know, the person that I love in my life, that was my parent or my you know, father figure or, you know, biological father for, you know, or guardian or for whatever, that person's now lost to me, right? There's a relationship that's been unfortunately cut off, you know, on account of someone else. And it, it is sad. And so for a lot of children, I would imagine there's that, that, uh, disjoint with somebody that they know was supposed to help them go through life, right? That they're at this younger stage and that they, they, there was supposed to be somebody there helping to guide them along the way. <sighs> this is extremely sentimental. I mean, again, but because you're, you're providing in this case of a dad in, in question that before he died, uh, he's got a. I guess a diary or a journal essentially for his child to learn this, you know, it reminds me of a film. Some of you might remember this one. I don't know. I don't know much traction it got, but it should have gotten a lot more. There's a film that came out. Uh, I think it was from the UK. It's called acres and acres. It's a smaller independent release, but the woman in that, in question, that was, that was it wasn't the perspective of the, like the dad went off to war. That was a mom struggling with cancer. And I think if I remember right, she had left, notes for the dad i haven't seen it yet and i've wanted to my library carries it and i i I, my library is like a great selection of independent art house films and they've got that one so i'm very excited to watch it for myself because it was such a strong trailer release but there's a a a scene in question there it's just it's beautiful to watch so the, the mom passes away from cancer and the dad is uh put in the role of raising his kids essentially as a single parent but he raises them in a way because she's left, I think it was notes in that case, she's left notes for him um, to raise his kids as if she were there and she were alive, right? So they're sort of like co-parenting even when she's passed on. It's an extremely moving movie. And the trailer was you know, just, it was so hard, it, like an emotional experience to watch. It was incredible. Um, but this sounds really good. It just it, it kind of got a vibe of that. But again, who, I mean, how many kids are out there that have, you know, lost family to war, you know, people that they've loved and the parents have gone to fight overseas and they might not necessarily have this experience or, you know, maybe, you know, one loved one dies and the parent that's in charge of them has to you know maintain uh the family as a single parent i mean this is a really it's it's a moving plot i can't wait to see the trailer i think again of an actor like michael b jordan i think the presence that he brings to a lot of his roles will be i, I think it'll be appreciated here let's take a look and see how a journal for jordan is i'm sure this is gonna be really moving we're gonna watch this first and we're gonna talk of a teaser trailer and we're gonna talk about more of my condensed review segment plus watching the video together okay Without further ado, here we go. Let's take a look. I mean, like I was saying, specifically from the war background, I think a lot of people can relate. But also, you know, for people who were raised sort of uh, like in single parent homes, too, I'm sure there's. It, it's not going to be an exact. Um, well, you know, parents that, or kids that might have been raised either completely in a single parent home or just sort of like as if you know pertaining to certain circumstances. Um, Though you can't fully relate, you can at least you can emotionally sympathize because you're familiar with it. But it's just kind of something I see. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it's gonna have very moving music too. Add that in. <laughs> it's gonna be a tearjerker. <laughs> I just want you to enjoy your weekend. Come through the wind. 
You taste like oregano. <laughs> Is that good or bad? <laughs> you need to put all that away. I haven't had my coffee yet. Excuse me. Don't fail me now. Dear Jordan. Don't fail me just take one look at your mother. Marry me. Yes. I Woo! wondered if um, that will tell you what I was playing that role. Is. I'm ready. Your father wrote that. I'm ready. Oh, that's beautiful. He wrote this whole thing just for you. Now I'm ready. It's so. It, 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 this is good. It's based on a true story too. Love is a choice, Jordan. And real love means you have to sacrifice. I'm not surprised it's such temporary. high quality. Real love lasts forever. But remember, Jordan, you have to fight for it. That looks really good. Very, okay, like I said, you plot like that, it's gonna be hard to. In movie theaters this Christmas. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're gonna tug at the heart strings. Now it's a Christmas, too. Oh my gosh. That looks like a very. It, it, didn't it sort of feel like a Christmas movie, too? Like they filmed it, I think, in certain capacities, like with the setting. Yeah, you got like Christmas lights at one point. You've got. It was like when they were trying on the suit, though. Yeah, you got Christmas trees in the background. Fits of the season. Wow. Um, that, is a, that is a beautiful film. Uh, I, I, like I said, I'm very impressed. But the fact that Denzel Washington is involved, yeah, it makes a lot of sense why this is such a such a well done release. Very moving. I want to watch it. Like I said, I think probably a lot of people can relate to that. I mean, especially I'm sure um, families coming from the position where a loved one has been lost at war I immediately. Like that, that's that's gonna be a close association. But I think also for kids who might have. Um, might have had to process life on their own to whatever extent that might be, you know, whatever that might be through. Um, cause I know how many kids around, especially in the U S are raised in like single parent homes, essentially. And they didn't have a type of experience where they had the guiding uh, principles from a father figure, or in some cases, um, in some cases, you know, their kids, unfortunately have, um, troublesome, Father figures, um, yeah. I, I, I mean, you got kids that have been, you know, operating from position of, you know, maybe they were abused in childhood or everything's like that. So they don't, they weren't given that solid foundation, right? I would imagine for them, this is gonna be an immediate tearjerker because it's gonna, you know, again, like closely tug at the harsh and it's like, oh, you know, that's. But I, I think this says, well, in that case, again, I know that's a very different situation. You're like, well, I'm making that comparison because I think there, I think there's a bit of an emotional re relatability here for a lot of people, even outside of kids that have been through families and in, in the war situation i think you're doing with kids again they don't have that stable foundation it, it, this is going to be a real hard watch i'm sure because it's like well you know well th this is what it could have been for me right but this is you know, if anything what this film should do is inspire us in the case that perhaps you know because it's just a, a, a true life you don't know how long your life's going to be you don't know when you're going to live when you're going to die it just it's a matter of it, it just a matter of the future, essentially. We're not you know, privy to those details. I mean, God is, but we're not. So in the case of, you know, if you've got kids or something like that, maybe this inspire like a lot more men to start journaling, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing at all. I mean, it's, it, some people are like, well, that's not very masculine. Well, what about this soldier? He looks plenty masculine to me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But just just watching him, you know, write that diary and be like, and what does he call it? Um, a father's legacy. Good, great. And it's written like in cursive on the, on the last word, too. It's very sentimental. I love the presentation of this. I think it's a cool idea that maybe you, as um, parents, or even parents-to-be, can you imagine like if, if you're in your 20s? I should do this. Can you imagine if in your, you're like in your 20s and you don't have children yet and you want, you aspire to have them maybe one day, you know, if God willing, what if you started writing your journal now? You know what I mean? Just kind of like you can take those experiences that you learned in your youth and inspire of the next generation even if you know because sometimes in that case i imagine maybe with families if, if you know kids are going off to war well kids but men and maybe moms too maybe moms can relate to this as well because i know there are also women who go off to fight too um this could be i i think it's a cool idea 
I mean, and the fact that it's based on a true story too makes this even more of a hard watch. But it looks incredible. I I can't wait to watch it. I think it, I, I think it brings up some really cool ideas of what you know we can do in, in society in terms of um, especially building a relationship between you know parent and child. Even when you know that that parent might be distant, they're sort of still there. It's a beautiful experience. I mean, again, like I said with the synopsis, it reminded me a lot of Acres and Acres. And that one, well, again, that was a woman who died from cancer. That was a hard trailer to sit for and not be like, oh my gosh, this is so moving. I get the same vibe here. Um, I, I'm very impressed. What are you guys' thoughts of a journal for Jordan? Let me know down below. Don't forget to look at stuff for like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell. Until we get to watch more from this movie, because I would imagine this is going to get another trailer. This is the teaser trailer, as they call it. And it's not coming out for about four months. I'm recording this in August. So there's a bit of a time gap. We're going to probably have another trailer in the future. I can't wait to watch it again. <laughs> well, not this, well. I, I might watch this trailer again. Because it just looks so good. But I never trailer in anticipation for the film. But whatever trailer we get to watch again next to the first time, I'll see you guys then. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless and peace.